G'day guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product View as well. I'm done for the day. I've had a pretty productive day, which I'm happy with, now with my work. And I'm here reviewing another uh, Prohibition Lager. That one was Prohibition Pale Ale from Hawkesbury Brewing Company. It's obviously 0%. Still says ride of the coast up top. And um, yeah, I've also got these kettle which they better be good. I don't know whether like um, it's to do with inflation or whether um, this is what the price of them are back in Melbourne. I think this is like $7. So they'd want to be good. They'd want to be good. But uh, the kettle cooked in avocado oil, sea salt and lemon. So got these to pair with the lager. Hopefully the lager didn't have sort of that weird non-alcoholic aftertaste and we'll just get it cracking so Phew, it's pretty frothy it smells like a lager as soon as i poured it as soon as i cracked it open i can smell it from from this far away from my nose so there it is guys it's got a decent head to it and uh, the it is a bit more foamy than the pale ale head but it's still big bubbles so they'll go pretty quickly and um, heavily carbonated as you can see so I can smell that aftertaste on the on the smell a bit lemony prohibition lager from Hawks Brewing Company into my palate can light mouth That aftertaste that you get from non-alcoholic beer that was in the pale ale, it's 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 a lot more or less. Does that make sense? A lot more or less. <laughs> There's no alcohol in this. I can't even speak English. Um, it's more subdued. So what it tastes like is um. Sort of like a just you run of the mill lager, uh, and it's kind of like uh, <laughs> which I don't really want to remember um, the days of uh, snake bites where you know you'd have a lager or whatever and you'd drop a couple of um, dashes of cordial, lemon cordial or whatever cordial could be raspberry or whatever so it's got really just a nice hint of lemon throughout uh, th this is much better um, this is this is much better than than the pale ale much much better yeah that uh, that aftertaste is still there a little bit but it's not like the other one was just too much. There's too much of it. And it then overpowered the rest of the drink. And then, you know, sort of, you've got that aftertaste lingering in your mouth before you take your next sip. And then obviously after the can's finished, you've still got that sort of aftertaste lingering in, in your back palate, which wasn't pleasant. Which was a shame, because everything up front on the pale ale was actually quite nice. But this is just a nice refreshing lager with citrus throughout um, from start to finish. So, you've done a good job there, Hawkesbury. Um, and maybe next week I'll get the stouts and see what they're, they're all about, obviously from the same uh, brewery. Run onto the chips. Um, lemon and lemon here. See if they're a match made in heaven. Mm. They've done a fair bit of uh is that gonna stay in that? <laughs> so,
done a fair bit of work on the bridge of late. We've got five pillars up now and they're onto the six. So this is them. This is the kettle cooked in avocado oil with, uh, say, sea salt and lemon. Mm, you definitely can taste that they've been cooked in a different oil. Whether I like it or not, is in the different oil taste. Yeah, they're nice. They're really nice. And these have a sharp burst of lemon and then it just dies off into a nice saltiness. So they don't clash. Which is nice. After, after this review I'll do some case notes on my phone. Giant chip. Yeah, I don't mind the avocado oil. Would I pay seven dollars twenty? Which I think they were. To get them again? Probably not. But I think I'm not going to factor price into it because I think it's just, I just think it's just the nature of where I am. They're fantastic. And this the bit of a burst of lemon doesn't get too much like you know like oh that flavor again after taking more and more bites double wish chip was there three three in there Alright, so let's see what I've got written on the packet. A kettle we're passionate about crafting great tasting chips. We go to great lengths as we source the very best ingredients for our delicious flavour combinations. Now we've discovered next level goodness, our golden Aussie potatoes, slow cooked in unique kettle way, in pure avocado oil with a gentle buttery taste. That's true. The season with some sim simply perfect flavors. We hope you love the avocado oil selection from kettle. Ingredients, potato, avocado oil, sea salt, mineral salt, potassium chlor uh, chloride, food acid, sugar, natural flavours including lemon oil, yeast extract may contain milk and soy. Yeah, they're really good. Um, so I'm going to do a rating of them. I've got really sore hips, guys. Um, I've had sort of more achy pain in Melbourne. And obviously did a bit of research the other night because um, coldness can bring on sort of like more achy pain or sort of aching sensations. Um, and extreme heat in your joints can cause inflammation which creates pain pain. And um, I've been getting this really sort of 
sharp bursts of pain um, on, on my outer thighs around my hip and um, I haven't done anything to them I haven't hurt myself or whatever but yeah it's interesting <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't have thought the heat would actually uh, in, impact my body the way it, the way it has um, but it's only on the right side I don't get the same pain or soreness on the on the left hand side so anyway I went on a bit of a tangent there drinkability uh, 8 and rating no 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 I'm I'm actually going to go higher than that. Drinkability 8.9 and rating 8.9 for the uh, Hawkesbury Lager. I've done a good job there. And like I say in all my non-alcoholic uh, beer reviews, is there a standalone rating system? So I just pair them off against different non-alcoholic beers. So an 8.9 doesn't mean that it's anywhere near a 9 of like an IPA or a Pilsner or, or whatever. So that's really, really good, Hawkesbury. You should be really, really proud proud of that. And, um, you know, obviously being quite hot and where I am and being a dry area, um, you know, I can bring um, actual beer and stuff from Broome when I'm there. Uh, but in terms of, which I'm not a big drinker, which is surprising considering I do a review channel. Um, but in terms of like if I want something cold that tastes like a beer it looks like a beer I think that I'll be buying that again and look not overly not overly expensive like normal craft beer back in Melbourne um, you know which maybe the cans are a bit larger in terms of like you know your, your 400 mils or, or whatever um, but you're sort of you know anywhere looking between 25 27 30 bucks for um a four pack of the style of beer that i, I drink and i think that was 17 dollars as well or 16 dollars. so um obviously there's no alcohol in it but it it's 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 really good as for the chips Still undecided on the rating, so give me a moment. I'll just sample a couple more. Normally my go-to potato chip is just original salt. I love salt. And these were side by side with a couple of other just normal salt chips that I don't normally like, but they're the same price. Would I buy these ahead of that? Probably. So with that being said, I give these minus the price. Um, if they're the same price back back home, I'll probably knock a knock a rating point off them. But I'm giving them a ten. So if the price is the same universally around in different places in Melbourne and whatever, like you're not you're not. I don't think we should be paying seven bucks for a bag of potato chips. Um, that's just my opinion. I understand inflation. I understand, you know, growing the produce and it being transported and cost of living and all that shit going up or whatever. But I, I still don't believe we should be paying seven bucks for a bag of potato chips. So if that's all their price the whole the whole way around. Um, then I'm going to give them a nine. And if they've made them more expensive because of say the avocado oil I don't I don't think it I don't think it warrants the seven dollars price tag but 
um, that's just my personal thoughts. Uh, at the end of the day, these companies got to make profit, and um, you know who's who's to judge them for doing that. Anyway, and not uh, a ten out of ten, or price nine, and the lager was a eight point nine. So anyway, I'll leave you to it.